love going beyond the headlines and taking a deep dive into stories that people are afraid to tackle. We love local stories and sharing all the hidden gems that make this place we call home so cool. When we say you're a part of the show, we really mean it. We focus on the stories that really make an impact. There's so many people doing amazing things right here in this area, and you don't really hear about them until now. Well, good afternoon and welcome to Take 5. Hopefully you're finally thawing out. Don't forget to text us during the show, 206-448-4545. I'm Angela, this is Casey, and this is Jordan. Hello. I have to say, even though we are starting to thaw, the snow is so bad in places. For example, this is North Bend, so bad that the Washington National Guard has been deployed to help there. Mm -hmm. And it's not even just there. In the North End, in Everett, the cleanup there continues. In fact, Sky King flew over an auto zone with a caved-in roof from all the heavy snow. You can see mm -hmm. it there, all the cracking. It's, it's really heavy stuff. Yeah. And also in Everett, People living at the Creekside Senior Mobile Home Park are struggling with not one but two different collapses. Mm -hmm. Many have not even been able to get out since Super Bowl Sunday. That was a week and a half ago. Really? Yeah. So they're now asking for the public's help for clearing carports, roofs, and roads. They say some sand would even be very helpful. So if you can help in any way, please text us the keyword help to 206-448-4545, and we will send you contact info. Right. And it's tricky because you don't want like, I wish I had like a teeny tiny airplane to just rise above <laughs> just, my neighborhood. Just fly out of here. Fly out of here, drop my kid off at daycare. And I know that uh. so many parents are upset mm -hmm. about all these snow days because, of course, they're accumulating just like the snow is. So coming up in just a little bit, we're going to hear from the Seattle School District about what their plan is to make up those missed And I've also been trying to gather some data from other school districts as well, so I will have a few more to report uh, outside of Seattle. But right now, I want to get to Jordan because I know a lot of you must be thinking, okay, are we done yet? Are I know. We I know. <laughs> it, right. It's just been like the cold air has just been lingering, which I, I was talking to a few folks today saying it's not bad that the cold air is lingering after snow event because think about it, if we were to get a rapid warm up all of this would melt and we could talk about major flood concerns we still have snowy uh, rooftops sitting around the Seattle area of course it has been looking very very winter like in uh, another view here of the viaduct where yesterday we had snow covered all across the viaduct and now we're seeing some of that melt away uh, but because of all of this melting we do have a, a few flood concerns I mean this is the east side it got walloped just like other places around the sound but we do want you to check out these pictures from viewer Lucy Coffee. she lives in North Bend and this is her car, believe it or not, that you're going to be seeing um, under feet of snow. Uh, Lucy says some places in her backyard measured three feet of snow. Now, the roads aren't so bad. They have the roads are so bad, I should say, they haven't been plowed in her neighborhood. They just can't get there. And tonight, neighbors are waiting for relief, which is coming from the Washington National Guard. In fact, they tweeted this picture saying that the Kent Armory, uh, they are coordinating with first responders with Eastside Fire to assist residents that are isolated. And for more on that, we want to go to Michael Crow, who's live in Carnation for us. Michael. Yeah, hey guys, so we are in Carnation right now. Uh, it's on the east side where they are dealing with just a ton of snow this week, a lot of soupy back roads, and they have called in assistance from the National Guard, actually. These folks are just coming back from uh, out responding to a call. The King County Sheriff's Office was just, just telling me these folks were helping extract a guy from a home that had a long, snowy driveway, totally snowbound. Right. So but right now, I gotta go to the Fast Five. It's basically a time we take five stories that are making news today. We just got an update in yesterday's special election. A number of school levies were on the ballot in Seattle. Proposition 1, a replacement levy for education programs, is passing. Seattle's Proposition 2 is also passing. It's a levy for money to replace or improve eight specific schools. And in Pierce County, another one we've been keeping an eye on, the Bethel School District bond proposal is also passing. Out with the old and with the new, T-Mobile took over Safeco Field's naming rights last month. You know that. But today, the old Safeco lettering finally came down. Crews removed the familiar sign above the home plate gate. And by the way, T-Mobile is locking this down. They have naming <laughs> rights that go through 2043. Well, it's likely the teardown of the Alaskan Way viaduct will start by tomorrow afternoon and certainly by Friday. You may recall that snow delayed the demol demolition, which was scheduled to start on Tuesday. Preps are wrapping up for destruction of the Columbia Street on-ramp, which goes down first. The plan is to have the viaduct removed from the main tourist area by June. I think we're lucky. I'm happy, and this is, if this is the worst, doing all right. A massive roof leak at Lacey Spin City Laundry Company caught thousands of dollars in damage, but owner Rob Carroll 
considers himself lucky. No one was in the laundromat when ceiling tiles and gallons of water started falling down. This was on Monday night. His staff didn't notice the damage until today. Now, because they've been closed because of the weather, so that's why no one knew that it, this happened, several neighboring businesses also suffered leak damage. So if you don't get someone up there, all that snow's got to go somewhere. Well, we yeah. decided it was important to take a bit of a closer look at how this has impacted these small businesses. So here we go. This is really tough. We're hearing from so many of you about the specific impact the snow and ice is having on the local economy, small business owners, people who work for themselves. I even heard from a friend of mine who owns a small business in Mill Creek, and he estimates a ten dollars to $12,000 business loss just for being essentially closed for eight days. That's on top of hourly employees missing out on income. Run 26, go get them. And some of these are jobs that we rely on that we may not have realized are impacted. So thank you to a lot of you in the Five Hive for alerting us to this. Galen says, just ask any landscape company around here. We're going to be backed up with work once the storm clears through with cleanup. And then Young mentions, as a food truck owner, I've been closed for business the past five days. All of my employees couldn't work as well, which is an even greater burden. And there's a new show they have out. So. I think last weekend it was Rock of Ages was in town. Yes, Stephen and, Kilbert it still, went. and it still <laughs> is, yes. He said he went there and they were just like, well, theater's half empty, come sit wherever you want. Because, I mean, people couldn't get to the theater. Oh. Yeah. So. Get to the theater. And we've mentioned the South End, we've talked about Seattle, but yeah. our producer Meg is talking about the North End. They're impacted too, right? They really are. It is the same scene that we've seen everywhere up in Everett. I want to show you this video we actually got today. Um, side streets, sidewalks, they're treacherous and icy. This is such a familiar scene right now. Some businesses have had to, they haven't been able to open because it's been so bad. And today a lot of people are out shoveling, doing their best to clear their sidewalks and keep them safe. Then Everett High School, they haven't been able to open. So another snow day today. So they are definitely feeling the pain just like people on the east side. And this actually segues perfectly to my field crew. So I will get back to Studio A, you guys, in a minute. Yes, but for uh, now, I want to send it out to Chris and Michelle in Everett. That's yeah. right. We are in Everett. Uh, we're hanging out with the guy to know around here, the Tom guy. Cathcart. We'll talk to you about why, because we're at the Museum of Flight, and specifically, this is the Restoration Center, which some people probably don't even know exists. This is right here at Payne Field, open to the public, right? That's right. We've been here for, oh gosh, since early 1980. And as we head to break, we also want to take a look at some of your snow pictures. They're still coming in. These are people in North Bend. They say they are literally digging their way out. Take a look at this one. Let's take the garbage out. Well, that's good that you're able to do that. This is in Lake Sutherland. Eight foot pile of snow at Northgate Mall. Look at that. All right, we will see you in just a few minutes. Come right back.